Hi dusting, as needed. Scrubbing of floors, done as needed. Vacuuming of floors, as needed. What does that even mean? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. You know, have you ever had a, a scope of work from a prospect, uh, or even on your own? where you have put in there you know, as needed. What does that really mean? You know, that's really objective for anybody that, that's reading it. And uh, you want to eliminate that. You just you don't want that on your scope of work or your, or your list of specifications. So whenever uh, possible, and it's always possible to put a, a time frame to that, to that uh, task. So for example, if we're going to do high dusting and um, we're servicing the location three days per week. So let's say high dusting is going to be done one day per week. Uh, our vacuuming, vacuuming may be done three days per week. So and uh, and if you any other task, restrooms will be cleaned uh, three days per week. You know they're cleaned every time. Your trash dumping will be uh, done three days per week. So you know in those for those tasks, we definitely wouldn't put as needed. Um, that just makes no sense. And again, and like I say, it's objective uh, to the person. Uh, we want to make sure that we put defined dates uh, to the tasks that we're performing. And there's a few reasons for that. Now a lot of times <clears throat> what you'll see is that uh, people will use the as needed as a, um, well, as a way of lowering the price. Um, but again, you know, it's, uh, it's objective because as needed, you know, how often should we be vacuuming that floor? How often should we do a hot dusting? Well, it's, it's a matter of opinion, you know, of the person. You know, I may say that well, maybe we're going to do our dusting every other week. Uh, where maybe my client might say, well, maybe it's only once a month. So you just don't want that, that to be subjective. You want to make sure that you put a firm time, time frame on the task that you're performing. So do that on, on every uh, specification list that you have or a scope of work list. And if you do have a, a prospect that hands you a scope of work or, and a scope of work or a list of specifications that has that, that wording on there, uh, bring it to their attention. Um, you know, let them know that you know that it is subjective, and really, what does that mean? You know, uh, because you know it's going to cause it'll more more likely cause issues later on uh, because it is so subjective. Uh, again, uh, this is just a quick tip uh, to help people uh, realize that never use that uh, the words as needed on your scope of work. Um, it's, it, it will it will cause issues later on because, like I say, it's so subjective, and people have one one opinion what it should be, and then another person has another opinion. So uh, just don't do that. And uh, uh, sometimes you know it's it's a, a way for people to drive the price down for the service, which is understandable. But what you want to do is, if it's a three day per week service, you know, uh, determine your task frequency based off that three day per week service. Well, such a, like a restrooms, for example. Well, we would do restrooms three days per week. You know, that's, that's quite obvious. We're going to dump the trash three days per week. Um, you know, our dusting, maybe that could be every other week. Um, but anyway, you know, make sure you, you put it on, on your scope of work. And, uh, you know, then if the, the customer uh, feels or the prospect feels that, well, maybe that frequency is too high uh, because, you know, again, they're trying to drive the price down, well, now you guys can work on that list together and, you know, so to where it makes sense. So if we're doing something uh, at a higher frequency, such as three days per week, uh, maybe we can reduce that to two or one day per week. Um, you know, so it fits the, the scope of work that they're looking for and the actual uh, maintaining the level of appearance that they want. And that's really, that's really what's important, is that we're trying to maintain that level of appearance that, that they want. Um, and based off of their expectations. So that's the only thing that we can do is that we can try to put a scope of work together that meets those expectations and and that level of appearance that they're trying to maintain at a budget that makes sense. So it's kind of a juggling act, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know that's the thing is that uh, the more of the the more of them you do the better you're going to get at. But uh, whenever you do have a customer that that's talking about lowering prices or anything like that there always go back to your scope of work. And adjust your scope of work. I know many cleaning companies, especially uh, when they've got an account already, they'll uh, they'll they'll decide to go ahead and give the person a lower price without making adjustments to their scope of work. 
Now that makes no sense whatsoever. You need to be making adjustments to your scope of work if the price is going to be reduced. So anyway, uh, like I say, a uh, quick tip. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have, uh, go ahead and click on the like button down below and the share button. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, you'll find hundreds of videos there uh, for cleaning business owners and uh, many more to come. So until next time, thanks.